I would say that in developing countries, social dialogue as the institution social dialogue, which has been created more for the formal sector trade unions, is still very inadequate to also deal with informal workers' issues. And in many cases, it actually also isn't functioning well for the formal trade unions. We are organizing the informal economy workers uh, since last 47 years now and um, in the informal economy these workers do not have the fixed employer-employee relationship. Street vendors has no employers. The home-based workers have employers but there are so many contractors in between that we do not know who the main employer is. So, and, and, and in the agriculture, in the service providers uh, categories, a worker, an agriculture worker has 20 employers. So then you have to deal with all 10, 20 employers. Before 2014, while we were lobbying for the street vendors and other home-based workers policies, we uh, had a good dialogue at all levels on the social security because one is that they get more income but the other is even if they access the social security would be of very much benefit to all of these informal economy workers. So in 2008, we got uh, the Social Security Act passed in the parliament and that is for all informal economy workers of our country. Formal trade unions should include <coughs> informal workers um, in, as their members and then represent informal workers issues within the social dialogue um, spaces that are um, w to which formal trade unions have access. Um, but what we see is that although the membership, the informal membership of the trade unions in many developing countries has increased, they still have difficulties with presenting informal workers' issues within the social dialogue um, negotiations. Um, the issues that are, are, are dealt with um, within the social dialogue are still very much formal, related to the for formal sector. So from the very beginning we had this joint strategy of union and cooperative. So one side you struggle for the issues which you are facing, raise your voices, but on the other hand you have your own developmental work carried out. Now we have the act which says it protects the livelihood, but then SEVA very much believes in this joint strategy and also with an integrated approach that we, we do have to keep sh organizing process continuously going on. Enabling conditions for um, social dialogue in informal economies in the first place, the breaking of stereotypes. Informal workers should be recognized as um, genuine social partners with whom um, there can be a negotiation. Um, so instead of being seen as urban nuisances, they have to be seen as um, uh, important economic actors who have who are valuable for for the economy of a of a country. A second enabling condition is the importance of creating alliances, um, not only with the formal trade unions but broader alliances across uh, civil society with NGOs and um, feminist groups, student groups, for instance. Um, this is very important to increase the bargaining power and the leverage informal workers' unions have when they um, start negotiations. Mm -hmm.